Hello, my name is Mr. Radom, and I'll be your math teacher for this summer DL program. So just a quick little video here to get you started, and let you know how things will work. The first thing that you need to know is this website right here, www.thssmath.com. And you'll want to bookmark that because you'll use, end up using that a lot. So this is where all of your resources are going to be. And um, once you're at the site, there's a bunch of courses here. Uh, the one that you're going to be interested in is the tab here, Online Math. So I'm going to click on that one. And it brings up a few links here. Um, there's a couple of online teachers. Mr. Payen is, a, is another teacher, so don't worry about clicking on that. <coughs> but here, I'll just show you this uh, link here. It's my schedule. Um, but there's a few changes with it because this is also for students that are September till June. Don't worry about these Illuminate class times right now. We'll talk about that in a bit. But um, for the months of May and June, I am in the Illuminate, that's the online class, on Mondays and Wednesdays. So Mondays from 7 to 8 and Wednesdays from 3 to 4. But you will have additional times uh, as well. Um, this is really what I wanted to show you, was these optional personal contact blocks. If you want to come and see me uh, and have a face-to-face -face meeting or to get help face-to-face, -face, for the months of May and June, I am in the math grade hall, that's the main math area of, of Thomas Haney Secondary School, on Mondays, Tuesdays, Wednesdays, and Thursdays at these times. I'm not at the school on Fridays, but if you ever want to see me Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, during these times, you just need to drop in and I will be in the math grade hall uh, able to help you at that time. At the bottom here, there's some extra help sessions. Again, don't worry about that. So I just really wanted to point out here these face-to-face -face times um, if you would like to come and see me and work with me face-to-face. -face. So that's under my schedule there. The next link I want to show you is Mr. Radom's Illuminate Classroom. This is where if you don't see me face to face and you need help, you would click on. So if you click on that link there, <coughs> it may ask you to get some software. If you don't have uh, software, it'll it'll uh, give you an opportunity to download the software so that you have that to run. Otherwise, then you can just click start the session. It'll ask you to log into the session, so you can put your name in there and click login. I have to allow something there. And um, so this is this is what you'll use uh, if um, we're ever getting help online. So I would need to be logged in as well. Now you can see this would be your name coming up here. Uh, it automatically comes up with your hand up, so you can click on that icon to put your hand down. There's a chat window here, so we can you can type stuff in there, and it'll it'll uh, come up as a text. Um, so we can chat back and forth if need be. Um, so you might log in here and say, "I'm having trouble with page 56, number eight, and I will be able to turn the audio on. I'll be able to talk to you." Now you can see this thing sliding along here. And I have a pen, and I will be able to doodle on the screen and help you with your question that you might have. Of course, you're able to talk as well, um, but only one person can talk at a time. So when I'm done talking, I need to click that off so that that thing stops. And if you were going to use the microphone to talk to me, you would have to do the same thing. So this is how uh, we, can, we can get help. Uh, and illuminate. Um, now, I mentioned those times there in my schedule on, on uh, Monday evening and Wednesday afternoon. Uh, because you're doing this course in only three months, uh, May, June, and July, um, you have much more time that's available for you for help. So I'm thinking what we would just do is anytime you have a question, um, just email me and we'll set up a time when we can get into that Illuminate class. So my email address, and you probably have it already, but if you don't, my email address is jeff underscore radom at sd42.ca. So if you get stuck on something, just send me an email, 
Uh, I check my emails very regularly and um, we'll just set up a time when it works for both of us where we can log in to that Illuminate classroom and I'll help you with whatever it is you're having trouble with. So that's the Illuminate classroom. Might not be a bad idea to save that hyperlink to or you can just ask, I'll access it under the online math tab. Um, so um, there is, there's another link here, configure Illuminate. Um, if you're having trouble, there's a, this is a support for getting that software working. Um, there's another link here, access free online resources. There's practice quizzes, videos, free tutorial session, sessions. Um, you can see I've made some links here. There's a, this is where there's some tutors that can help you. There's also practice quizzes, there's uh, instructional videos. Um, there's a bunch more resources here and homework help there. So there's lots of online resources available for you. Um, so yeah, just just to review here so far, um, if you want to see me face to face, you'll know the times by clicking on my schedule here. Uh, if you would like some help online at any time, send me an email and we'll set up a time where we can both go into the Illuminate classroom and I can I can help you with that. And if you need some additional resources, uh, there's a link here to Learn Now BC, which has lots of support for, for online students. Now, you are taking Math 10 Foundations, so if you click on the Math 10 Foundations tab, this will bring up all the resources for this course. Now, the first link here is Suggested Learning Guide Completion Dates. This is not going to be useful to you because this is for people who are starting in September and finishing in June. Um, so don't worry about that. Uh, but formula sheets, you can click on these. You will get those formula sheets on all your tests. You can use, you can print those off and use them. You can also have that on your course final and you can also have that on your provincial exam. So clicking on this will bring up as you can see, all the formulas that you will need for this course. Like I say, you can use that on any provincial exam, or sorry, any, any test, any quizzes in this course, as well as your course final and provincial exam. But here's where you're going to go a lot. This is the learning guides. These are all of the assignments. So when we click on here, uh, here's all of the assignments. And the course is... Um, split up into 20 learning guides and the marks record sheet is the is the, sort of like the course outline so you can see here um, the first learning guide is exponents and it's section 4 1 and 4 2 in the textbook and learning guide 2 is on more exponents and then here's a a unit review so what, uh, what we're going to do here is you're going to do learning guide one and once you've finished learning guide one I'm going to send you a quiz and as well as the answer key and so there's a lot of sort of self self evaluation here on these first these first learning guides um, so I'll send you a quiz once you finish learning guide one and you will uh, do that quiz and then you'll I'll send you the answer key and you mark it yourself and then you can send me a sheet back that lets me know what you did well and what you still need to work on because it's really important that you understand what you did right and what you still need to practice and um, and you'll do that for learning guide two as well and then you're going to get to learning guide three which you can see is unit one review this is the one that I'm going to mark but it'll be just like these quizzes you did in learning guides one and two and of course you'll have had feedback on that when you've marked it um, same thing you're going to go on learning guide four little quiz for that you'll mark it yourself same thing with learning guide five and then unit two is another unit test and each of these unit tests will have a little bit of review from the previous unit uh, as well as a separate section just on this unit um, so every one of these little these little learning guides that you're doing here where there's a blank line these are little quizzes that you're doing and marking yourself and um, your marks are going to come though from these unit tests that you write and you can see they're worth about 13% each.
um, and so on. Down here at the end, um, Learning Guide 19 is uh, all of those little reviews, parts that you're doing on each of these unit tests, the cumulative reviews, they will count, uh, they'll average those and those will count for Learning Guide 19. And then you have a course final exam, uh, Learning Guide 20, which is worth 20%. So this is your course outline, all the topics in the course. Let's go back then, and I will show you Learning Guide 1. So remember, Learning Guide 1 was on exponents. So when we click on this, here we go. Exponents, the first part. There's a bit of, every Learning Guide has an introduction. Then there's some Learning Guide expectations. These are the two things that you're going to learn how to do in this Learning Guide. Um, evaluation just tells you to refer to your marks record sheet. These are some of the resources that you uh, will need. And so here's that first expectation, which was determine the square root and cube root of perfect squares and cubes. So there's a couple of YouTube videos here that you can watch that will teach you how to do that. And then there's some stuff that you would do in the textbook. So read page 152. And there's an investigation you can do there, some lengthy ideas, work through the example, do a question, work through an exa another example, read the key ideas. And you just follow through the steps here. And then uh, number nine here says in your math journal. Now this is just like your set of notes that you would, you would take. So in your math journal, it's going to ask you to define a perfect cube and a cube root. So just have a separate section in your notebook um, where you can... Keep, keep your notes, take your notes. And if you're taking notes on these videos, you'll probably have these already in your, in your uh, notes when you get there. But this is just to make sure that you have that stuff in here. And then here is some questions to do. Now, you're not going to hand your homework in. To me, uh, it's not going to be graded. The homework is for you to practice your skills. So as you're doing these questions, you should be checking your answers in the back of the in the answer seat key of the textbook um, so that you know that you're doing it right. And uh, these are questions that you should know how to do, but you decide how many questions that you need to do. Um, and if you've done all, these all, done all these questions and you're still a bit stuck, here's some more extra practice that you can click on. And here's the answers to those questions there. Expectation two, there's another video for that. Again, some suggested uh, activities to do, a journal note, um, some, more extra uh, some more practice here, and some extra practice here. And again, you do as many or as few questions as you feel like you need to do so that you understand those expectations. Even some review you can do at the end here, or we call it a challenge. Uh, if you happen to know all this stuff already, maybe this is your second time through the course, or or what, then um, you can just try these questions here. And if you can crank those off, then obviously you know your stuff. There's also some practice quizzes that you can click on. Um, hyperlinks here that will take you to practice quizzes. I'll just show you one. Some of them are multiple choice. You can go down and select them. There's some short answers that you do on a scrap piece of paper and some longer problem questions. And then you can click check your work. It says I didn't answer some questions, but whatever. It'll tell you what the answer is. Looks like I got the first one right. The second one I got wrong. The answer should have been A. And then all of the short answer and problems, they're all worked out here for you as well. So, yeah. So you'll work through Learning Guide 1, uh, being totally self-directed as you do that. And once you've finished Learning Guide 1, or when you're getting close to it, let me know, and I will email you the practice quiz to do, uh, as well as the answer key. And I would expect that you would do your practice quiz um, on your on your own. And then um, once you've done done that, then you'd mark it on your own, and then you'd look at it and say, do I know this stuff, or do I need to practice it some more? Uh, so that's Learning Guide 1. Learning Guide 2 is very similar. Learning Guide 3 is the unit review. So it just reminds you of all the expectations in the unit. Um, 
and then there's some suggested things that you could do here to get ready for your unit test and there's some practice unit tests and practice chapter reviews that you can do so lots lots and lots of resources there for you to to work through um, yeah so that's that's the learning guides um, you'll work through those there's 20 of them to do now learning guide one you would have got a note in your email saying that the first assignment, the first learning guide needs to be done two weeks after the date of you registered. So you want to make sure that you get that learning guide done as soon as you can. It's also important to remember that you're starting this course now and you have only until the 24th of July to finish it, which is um, about 12 weeks, assuming you're starting May May 1st um, so you got 20 learning guides to do uh, that's almost about a learning guide a week that you should be finishing if you're gonna uh, be successful in completing this course by July 24th here's the textbook uh, when you click on the PDF textbook it's a password protected page um, so you need to know what the login and the password is. So the login is capital THSS, all capitals, and the password is lowercase math. So make sure you don't have your caps locks, cap locks on. So THSS for login, lowercase math for your password, and then when you click submit, this should take you to all of the different chapters, as well as you got the answer keys here, all of the chapters here and I believe you start with chapter 4 uh, on on learning guide 1 so that's the textbook um, you saw in the learning guides that there was reviews and practice quizzes at the bottom you can click on that here and it'll take you straight straight to um, all of the practice quizzes for each of the learning guides and the unit tests as well as additional reviews um, don't worry about this link here on registering your Math 10 textbook because we have a PDF of it right there. Um, these how did I do's. So once you've done learning guide one, and I'll, I'll actually send some of these to you so you don't have to necessarily go here. They'll, they'll be a part of the quiz. But I'll just show you what happens here. Um, so once you've finished the Learning Guide 1 quiz and you've marked it, come on, open up. There we go. Once you've done Learning Guide 1 and you've, and you've marked it and gone through it, the questions on the quiz are going to be set, separated by expectations. So the first expectation was determine the squared and cube root of perfect squares and cubes. So there's a spot here for you to make some notes on what you were able to do and what you maybe had trouble with. And if you did have a bunch of trouble with, with expectation one, there's some more practice questions here with the answers. And then for the second expectation, which was applying the exponent laws, a little spot here for you to make a note on what you were able to do and what you had trouble with. Um, and then if you did have some significant problems, or something you would have a plan for an improvement or an area of, of focus so that you can do well on the unit test when it's time to get there so each each little practice quiz that you do will have a how did I do piece that that you will complete and fill out and um, send that back to me but I'll I'll give you some more information when it's time for your quiz uh, so that that should be it to get you started um, I've given you enough information there and if you do have any other questions feel free to email me anytime and uh, I look forward to working with you this summer.